I'll tell you, this was a banner idea you kids had. Taking classes at night. You decided what you're going to take, Dad? I'm not sure. Either salsa dancing or how to become a notary public. <laughs> what do you think? Well, that depends. If you want to dance or watch people sign things. Both interest me. Hey, would, oh. you, would you watch the road now and again? Would you relax? I'm sorry. It's just that kid. I think he's got to go home and change now. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm going to take the notary class. God knows the world doesn't need another salsa dancer. Spence, come on! Coming! Bye, Mom! I don't know how late we might go out after. I don't need to wear my hood. As soon as we get around the corner, this thing's coming right off. And so, by the beginning of the century, you've got Napoleon overrunning Europe, the promise of democracy gone, the Industrial Revolution turning everyone's lives upside down. And from this upheaval emerged some of the greatest writers in history. Does this look like Batman? <laughs> In one short period of history, you've got Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy, the Bronte sisters, Jane Austen, all the way through Henry James and Oscar Wilde. Now, these writers, each in their own way, reflected the mores and conventions of their times. And in many cases, I think we'll find they challenged these mores as well. Quit it! <laughs> oh, he was touching me. Anyway, we're gonna get rolling with a novel by one of the most truly interesting writers of the era, Charlotte Bronte. The book, Jane Eyre. I'm also handing out a list of 10 discussion questions about Jane Eyre. I want you to read the book, look them over, we will discuss them when we meet again. <laughs> this much. Becoming a notary public is not for the timid. No, sir. Very competitive. A lot of backstabbing. <laughs> hey, pull over. I gotta use the John. Why didn't you go when we dropped Spence off? I didn't have to go then. Excuse me for not having a prostate! <laughs> All right, Dad, there's a Dairy Queen. Go knock yourself out. Okay, after I pee, anyone want a soft serve? <laughs> No, thanks. Okey doke. Okay, look, I'm sorry about the class. I was just fooling around. I'm sorry. No, forget about it. It's not even your fault. It's my fault. It is? I just kind of had the stupid fantasy that we'd take the class and we'd both enjoy it and then we'd read more books and eventually we'd spend our evening sitting in front of a roaring fireplace drinking cognac, exchanging witty repartee. <laughs> Who was I kidding? We can't even do the word jumble in the daily news. All right, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna read the book. No, Doug, don't, because I wasn't trying to guild you into doing it. I know, okay? I want to. I want us both to read it and, and talk about it in front of a roaring fire. I'm sure your father will start one at some point. <laughs> you really want to continue with the class? Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Honey? Hmm? Nothing. 